What's up, guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of The King's Corner, where today we're talking about two new horror films of 2023. We're talking about Talk to Me and The Boogeyman, starting with A24's film Talk to Me, which was released on 4K Blu-ray a couple of weeks ago and was finally able to check it out. Um, this is a film... Uh, that has been critically acclaimed, a uh, hands-down horror classic. Uh, you know, I think this movie will get a cult following. Um, I think that this is something that people are going to be talking about in years to come. Uh, look, this is a very simple premise, an embalmed hand uh, of, you know, someone that was dead, the hand was embalmed, and now we have... This, this hand, this haunted hand or whatever, you don't really get more information into it than that. This is a non-spoiler review. Um, but when a group of friends uh, start grabbing the hand and holding the hand and saying, you know, let me in and talk to me, uh, they sort of go on a like a like a minute sort of high almost to where they totally black out and get possessed or whatever you want to call it and their eyes turn black and they see whatever it is they see and then they come back from it and they get a thrill from it so as the group of friends continue to do this uh you know things go south and yeah without spoiling it it take you know they take it a little too far and now they have to pay the the consequences of it now look this movie to me i think is good i think it was overhyped though like i was thinking like i didn't know what i was going to expect when i popped this in because this movie was so overhyped people are calling it one of the best movies of the year uh one of the best horror films and all this and i said okay watched it and i thought it was fine um now this is coming from youtube creators i believe the directors are youtube creators um from what i heard and they did a great job directing this movie i think the directing is really great now did they also write the screenplay written by danny filippo and bill huntsman directed by danny filippo and michael filippo okay so it looks like it was directed by a group of brothers co-written by one of the brothers and bill uh huntsman so the screenplay i feel needed some work um you get you know the lead character in the film this girl here she uh has dealt with the past and it's a little cliched and they sort of try to play it into the emotional side of the film but it never really goes anywhere for me and a lot of the things in the third act didn't make sense um i saw this movie i watched it probably about a week ago and you know it's it's something that you know, thinking about it now, it's just like, okay, you know, it is what it is, and I don't really have a huge want or need to rewatch this. Um, I think the first two acts are good, what what it sets up, and then the final half hour when, you know, stuff starts to hit the fan, I think the film sort of doesn't derail, but it gets uh, really uh, bonkers and a little off the wall. There's just things that happen in this movie that are spoiler, you know, involved in a spoiler territory that I can't talk about because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But what I will say is the last 30 minutes of the movie didn't really work for me. Uh, some of it didn't make sense. Some of it I just, you know, didn't understand. Some of it I thought was, you know, just sort of surface level. And the story was something that we've seen before, like some of the things that happen. Um, it just seemed kind of kind of cliched in a way. Is this a good directed you know movie? Yes, I do think this movie is very well directed, but I think the screenplay could have used some work. I thought the acting was fine, but you know overall, what it sets up, what you get in the third act of the movie, it just you know it was fine for me, but I think it could have used a little more 
Um, there's there's a little too much mystery behind it, and you don't really understand enough, so you don't really know what the rules are or what you're watching. You just kind of have to go with it. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the day, talk to me. I think it's an entertaining film. I just don't think it's a great film, and I'm going to give it three and a half out of five stars. And would I recommend it? I do think it's a fun little movie, but I don't think it's as great as people have been saying so that's my thoughts on talk to me now let's talk about the boogeyman which also just recently came out on blu-ray um from 20th century studios uh look another one of those quotes the scariest movie of the year you know scariest horror film of the year you get all this uh crap that's written on these boxes just for just you know to, to to get people to buy it i guess um But the Boogeyman, look, this is a story about a group of sisters and a single father who are grieving. Uh, Seems like everybody's grieving in all these movies. They're they're grieving a death, and now some, and the, the father's psychiatrist, and someone comes in and sort of lets loose. Uh, this entity on the family. So that's really what I can say without spoiling it. And um, yeah, this movie I I don't think is good. Uh, And I was excited to see it. I thought the trailers were interesting. I had a buddy that saw it who liked it. But um, I just, I can't understand how I thought the movie was extremely boring. I thought it was extremely cliched. Once again, you're dealing with, uh, you're dealing with, with grief. And look, I don't mind if you're dealing with grief in a film, but you have to do something interesting with it. And I just felt like in this film, nothing was done interesting with it. And it was, it was uh, very cliched how it played out. Uh, not very original. I thought the acting was fine. You have the young girl who plays uh, Leia in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series as the sister in this film, one of the sisters. I don't feel like she was given much character arc, character development at all. I just felt like she was just kind of there to be the younger sister. Um, there, there was nothing really going on with her. They try to flesh out the older sister, Um more who I thought was giving a good performance, but in the end of the day, I feel like the characters just, again, it's nothing special. And it was nothing interesting to me. Um, and how it all plays into the boogeyman, it's just like the, the, the middle of the film felt very boring to me and very slow and very just like, okay, this is how we're going to discover this. We're going to listen to recordings. We're going we're gonna to read up on it. We're going to find out. You know, It was just stuff that was just very unoriginal to me. And uh, overall, I did think the film was very, very slow, very dull, very boring. I wasn't interested. I wasn't invested. And I don't think it was scary. I just think this movie is kind of bullshit. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so, in the end of the day, the boogeyman, geez, I mean, what would I give it? I thought the performances were fine, and that was really it. I mean, there was, a, there was one cool sequence that had to do with a light turning off and on in the doctor's office. But other than that, I just, I just, you know, I couldn't care less for this movie and I'll give it a, I'll give it a one, (laughs) you know, I'll give it a one out of five. I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was just pretty bad and extremely forgettable. So that's my thoughts on talk to me and the boogeyman comment down below. Did you see these films? what do you think about them? Also, I've got another episode of the King's Corner coming out very soon. We're going to be talking about past lives and haunted mansion. That's going to be the next one that comes out. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button for that and a bunch of other stuff along the way. Uh, Hit that subscribe button for other things as well. Uh, We've got a weekly live show, a lot of digital copy codes we give away, uh, update videos, 4K Blu-ray update videos, stuff like that. i got a Funko video coming out. I want to show off my whole Funko collection, so that'll be fun. And yeah, you can follow me on Twitter or X at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingArises131. That's been it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. And until next time, over and out.